My name's Kate Griffiths. I work as a theatrical and media makeup artist in film, TV, and theatre. For a flesh wound, if I was working on set, I'd use silicone. Um, it's an expensive product to use, but you can kind of cheat it by um, you can either use a wax or you can make your own flesh just out of a sort of flesh coloured play doh. Um, so it's a, a cheap and simple thing that you can use for a quick scene, maybe a wide shot or something. Blending uh, is a technique that you have to uh, really work on because if, you're, if your flesh is not blended onto your actor's flesh, it's going to show onto camera. So um, that technique is um, very particular to doing special effects. Okay, so it sounds quite strange using products that, from your own kitchen for special effects, but in fact there are a lot of products you can use. So uh, if you're making clotted blood, you can make clotted blood out of uh, a mixture of cornflakes, Weetabix, uh, some black treacle, a bit of coffee, uh, mix those together and you can get a really good clotted blood effect. I think tips for viewers you need to, if you're doing your makeup for a film, uh, you really need to focus on keeping it realistic. Do your research. So don't just do an injury and, and fake it. Just sort of, you need to look at what part of the body you're cutting, what's going to be showing, whether there's bone coming out, um, what, what the blood is going to look like, how it bleeds, where the blood's going to drip. Um, so there's quite a lot to think about when you're doing your makeup.